Hello everybody, this is Gooberry and welcome back to some more Wasteland 3. So today we are going to have a look at our little encounter with a few saw pups inside this what is supposed to be in a, a bunker, which is what uh, you know Woodson actually specified as uh, a place that uh, these uh, what are these what is this gang called? Oh god, I forgot their name already. Well, whatever. This uh, gang is trying to actually, you know, get whatever ammunition or weapons are there. Loot, essentially, is there in this bunker. So we are going to go down there and try to see if there is anything that can help us down there. To, you know, get rid of uh, Vic Buchanan's, Victory Buchanan's uh, crew. So with, without further ado, let's just go down there. We're going to most probably... We got the ambush like immediately. Oh, we didn't. Look at this. It's a. Sh it's not even a normal dog. It's a shark dog. Like a hot dog, but with a shock factor. Oh, I see. Big Buchanan's people did not make it through. There's almost always a constant battle between uh, mech, mechanical beings, and uh, human. <coughs> Good thing. Otherwise, you'd just be human versus human all the time. Excuse me. Yeah, and as you can see, my door is unable to come through this window. So, I think I can fire on enemies through this door. That's nice, actually. I have, I have the high ground as well, so this is awesome. Now, Smokey. I would prefer having Smokey somewhere here, even though <clears throat> it seems like it's pretty close to this flaming barrel. So, you know what? Maybe, maybe over there. It's still too close, but. Meh. Meh. Feels like, yeah, I was about to say, it feels like I'm missing somebody. There you go. <laughs> I was missing her. Now the only question is... How useful is she going to be? Hey, can you clone? Can you get out of my face? Shoo, go away. Aha! If any of you try to enter this place, I have two peoples protecting me. Either of the entrances. Let's get the show on the road. Target the... What do I do? Okay. Oh, you know what? Why not do this? I mean, I don't need to... Be close to that location, right? Like, all the time. I can even run over there. I mean, yeah, of course, I'm going to use up a few AP, but that's fine, I guess. For some major damage. Oh, target blocked. Missed. You have got to be kidding me. Missed. Well, they are not kidding. Penetration is 12. Is this 101? And apply frozen minus 30 percentage will it work uh let's see can i do a trick shot with the what the number of misses are is unreal shield generator hey how about the two of you? <laughs> oh, it uses four AP. Oh, just uh, screwed myself. Oh, I didn't apply the uh, thing. Remember when I said there's a limit to how much you can screw up? Ay, ay, ay. 
That was a real mess. Maybe go for the heavy machine gun. I don't know, the damage it says it'll deal and damage it actually deals is almost always um, not right, not proper. Ooh, 20 penetration. Yeah, you should be able to do some damage. Let me put you in ambush. You, sir, prep. Oh, I mean defend. You... I think it's better if you just defend with the shock mace. Ambush. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, missed. Oh. 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 You can. Oh, you can fire from the top. Oh, that makes him even better. Choo choo. A oh, choo choo. Oh, what a time to quit. Nice. Blind, this guy. Resisted blind. Ah, uh, too bad, I guess. Well, time to. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. You did that on purpose. Okay. Now, let's break this guy's bones. Yeah. What did I break down there? I broke something. Let's hope it's not a ch chest. Probably is, considering my luck. Damn it. Either way, let's have a look at this. Okay. Let's go for the normal pistol. Sweet. That was a good shot. Shock prod reduces the target's hit chance and the target's damage. Why is it called shock prod? Battery use 25. Ooh, CPU rating. Hey, can I reduce your armor a bit? Thank you. 1 crit. That was okay, I guess. Really sad, but at least I'm. I got a little bit. Feels like I've done more damage with my fuel pistols than uh, even my sniper. Okay, so you. What do I do with you? Ah, 5 AP plus 4, it means I'll get screwed. Let me prep, I don't want to rush into combat. Oh! One shot, kill. Oh, it's... Okay, Kitty is on top, no wonder. I have not yet killed them. I would have done so already. If he would have kicked their ass. Ninety damage. <laughs> All right. You, Lucia Wesson. Why don't you? Yeah, do that. Well, careful, careful. There you go. Let's, uh, yeah, let's reduce hit chance and other things, you know, stuff like that. You can go heal, my guys. Started with nothing, still got it. 
There you go. And now you can just prep over here. Meanwhile, you... Yeah, what you can do is... You can absolutely come down here and back this guy once. Hey, oh! Rip! Nice! That was an easy going. Wow, okay, they weren't kidding. Started with nothing. Still got it. There's a lot of loot down here. Oh god, what is this? A shot. Oh Death Sifter. Wow. The Death Sifter is awesome. But it uses 0 0.50 ammo. Why? Why would you do this to me? Let's offer heavy firepower and a high rate of fire does not work around. Lightweight barrel. Now I need to craft. Now I need to see how costly it is to craft that damn to a 0.50 ammo. What the hell happened? Okay. Loot, loot, loot. Okay, let's talk to this computer. Omega Pro Automated Defense System. The system offline. Oh, it's because I killed the automated defenses. I don't know what exactly I destroyed when I did that little uh, damage over the breather tank. Okay. Oh yeah, these guys are called the breathers, right? Ooh, a container. <gasps> it's a creepy doll. Hearty Henry. Oh, grants bonus to all squad members. Healing bonus 10%. That's probably the best creepy doll we've got till now, right? Oh god. What is going on? We just got the death sifter. And already we're getting another weapon that is... Jesus. Jesus. Oh good, need a hug. <laughs> oh my god, the purifier. Hallelujah. God, it's so good. Glad I came down here. <gasps> Wasteland hawk. Oh yeah. What is this? Oh, cold comfort. It's a pump shotgun. Not bad, huh? Every time it makes me feel like, do I want to have a pistol and a shotgun on my hands? Gives me so many opportunities to do that. Or should I have weird signs? Oh, look at this. My little doggy. Doe. You know nothing, John Doe. My doe, my party pal and my kitty. Are all waiting outside. Hey, what is this? Cement mixer. The dried blood, okay. Okay, I thought it was something new. It wasn't. Let's see, what is what does this do? Throwing range and critical damage? Yeah, that's fine, I mean. You're probably never going to do critical damage effectively because uh, when that skill is not available to you yet. So, let's forget about it. What else is there over here for me to explore? The bunker is done, meaning I just I have to go. Oh yeah, I have to go inside this building right now. I guess. Where we go? We need to climb that. Uh, get up the. Oh god, what is that thing called? The, the ski lift thingy. This building is how we get the gondola. Yes. Ooh. Before we go there, though, for us to explore over here. There's a man chopped to bits over here. Oh my god. The rest of his bits are inside. Another man here. You have to search them individually. Handkerchief. Romancing the ghost junk. He has some cash on him. Sweet. 
Oh, an assault rifle. And uh, before we forget, I got all these nice weapons and I never equipped any of them. So, yeah, let's not do that. Let's uh, equip the damn things. Level 19 revolver, right? Level 17 semi-auto. Semi-auto. What's a semi? Ah, oh, it's not that good. Level 17, huh? Vito maker. Compares in the auto volver. Hey, this is better than the auto volver at least. But still, the auto volver has uh, mods on it, so it's pretty good. If I can remove those mods, which sadly I can't, then it will be awesome. Until then, it's not that awesome. But let's go to her. Now you have a level 15 heavy machine gun. 3140. And this is heavy machine guns, level 19. Unload. Oh. This has a 10%. Oh. Oh, it does fire damage. Why is this so special? Does fire based damage. But it does not have any particular uh, unit or type that it does additional damage to something like that because it uses 0 0.50 ammo instead of energy cells. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. Equally good against bots as well as humans. So fine. Let me load it up. And this is a level 21 flamethrower. You know what? I'm starting to think maybe. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. The purifier. Damn it. I'm so happy here. For the purifier. Yes, it's sold shot. It's a bit shot. This is a level 24 auto shotgun. Even the auto shotgun that we got is here. This is a pump shotgun. It is level 18. Well, we already have a level 24 on us. Which we should probably load up. Requires level 10 small arms. It chance critical. The requ failed requirement penalty is like it's really harsh, huh? Just for one level, I have nine level nine small arms. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I have level nine small arms and still I suffer so much. Need to be a genius to use that shotgun, apparently. Well, this is good. So instead of this revolver, can I just go for the... It uses flamethrower fuel. Range is 9. Ammo capacity is 4. This is range is 10. Ammo capacity is 4. It does a lot more crit... Oh. Crit damage. This does more. Crit chance is higher. Crit chance is 20. It uses energy cells instead of flamethrower fuel. Maybe I just go for the shotgun. I mean, if I'm going to go shotguns, then why not just go for that, right? Right, right. Okay. Wasteland Hawk. Oh, I already have a Wasteland Hawk. Oh, man. Now, feels even worse. I can go for a face blaster as well. I mean, I do have this. And I took it off uh, snappy. And I completely forgot about it. Yeah, you know what? Let me keep this. I'm always uh, a bit short when it comes to mech. Mech, so... Let me keep that on. And let's see crafting. I want to see... Oh, oh. What is this? Okay. Let me see how oh, difficult or easy it is to make 0 0.50 ammo. Shit. It's dense crap. But then, but then again. Man, dense crap per ammo. <laughs> so much. 
Okay. Oh, she leveled up. Sweet. I can max my action points. Time to confirm that. Uh, I can max her hard ass. Make sure she gets hard ass. Is this full though? It's not, right? I don't think it's full. Yeah, that's the one thing that I want to think about. If, you know, I could use uh, trinkets that increase critical chance or something else if I stop using this trinket that gives me hard ass. I mean, it's uh, not the best utility unless I actually have to use hard ass at a particular situation. So until then, it's not the best utility item. Uh, so, would it make sense to have this? Let me undo. Let me just look at my inventory and stuff to see why I didn't load up on some things. Like weird signs, if I increased weird signs, my damage dealing would be higher. 138 to 202, if I increased weird signs, then uh, my amount of damage dealt would be 3 percentage higher for fire damage. You know what? Let me undo. Let's go with hard as first. Damn it. Uh, because I'm probably going to fail if I don't have level 9 hard as over there. Widespread. Increasing the firing arc. Okay. I don't want that. But I probably want the pressure cooker. Ah. The combat speed isn't too bad of spell. Let's do this. This is against enemy vehicle. The enemy doesn't have a vehicle, then it's pretty much useless. Coordination. So I'm going to increase this, huh? Instead of increasing my crit chance. Well, all right. Let me increase it. Three. Who's good at mechanics? Lucia Wesson is best at mechanics. Need to look at armor modding and stuff. Maybe even Animal Whisperer. A few points into it wouldn't be so bad, you know? Get another animal for uh, fish slips as well. His companions are pretty good, but I just, I just don't want to overuse them. It's like... Uh, an OP system that is waiting for us to, you know, abuse. Which is why I want to try not to do that. Okay, you are pretty squishy. Do I want to go for luck? Luck action chance, 10%, 20%. Lucky evade chance. You know what? Yeah, let me go for luck. Lucky evade chance. I mean, who needs evasion if you can get lucky evade chance, right? Damn, this evasion is also pretty good. Well, one or the other. This gives me, luck gives me penetra armor penetration and all as well. So, in a way, it's much better than uh, going for speed. Kisass. Could use some more Kisass skills. I could use some more... Sneaky shit as well. Lights out. No. Initiative, sneak attack damage, 60%, difficulty 6 or less. Oh yeah. You know what? Fine. Or, okay, okay, wait, hear me out. I could go for this. There would probably, I mean, if I'm, I think we are past the point of difficulty six. Like it's very likely that we're going to come across an alarm or something that is high at difficulty seven and above. But we are not past the point of difficult Kisas level eight. So if there's a chance that we can talk down Vic Buchanan, 
and get him to come peacefully, then it would, this would help, right? No. Who are you? I'm going my way. What sneak attack damage plus 100%? Wow. Just imagine it. I mean, you're already increasing your sneaky shit. So your sneak attack damage becomes 100%. Add a perk and your sneak attack damage becomes 200%. The sniper can be useful for the first shot in the game. Even without his perk. Okay. Is there anything else that I should pick up over here? Doesn't look like it. Some more toolkit stuff. This vending machine and stuff is all inside. So let's just take a walk. Take a small gander inside. Use the gondola building key. Why is this guy dead? We reached the gondola, hold tight corporal, we are coming, or we took care of the ambush, barely broke a sweat, we are coming up to deal with Vic. And uh, yeah, besides these two comments, I'm not sure if you noticed it, but uh, Woodson doesn't sound alright. Feels like, uh, does this feel like deja vu, like the first incident after we got the initial ambush when he came to Colorado, and we were trying to save that one uh, lady sergeant or someone. She sounded really alright and as we got closer she started sounding like she was uh, hurt or something. Feels like uh, we got another dead guy on our hands now. Uh, dead guy in a few minutes more like. Okay. Anyway, let's continue with the comments. Let's see. Uh, let me say we reached the gondola. Hold tight, couple. Roger that. But please hurry. Things are getting worse up here. Biggest throwing a tantrum and taking out his frustration on my squad and the civilian hostages. I don't know what he's doing to them, but judging uh, by the screams, it can't be good. We need you up here double time. Okay, okay. So he still looks, uh, sounds good. Thought he was hurt. But he might be. See you soon. Listen out. He's just being punched around, I guess. So I thought they were holding out in some location, but no. They are being held captive. Is what it sounds like. Jesus Christ, these guys loaded up an entire vending machine with stuff. Composite armor. Ah, oh, nice. Not bad, huh? Another wasteland hawk. Ooh, what is this? Grand slam weights. Plus 8 damage. Not bad, buddy. Buddy. 0.5 ammo. Nice. By the way, did you do you have it reloaded? Yes, you do. 0 0.50 ammunition. The gall. Commando armor. Ooh. Now who wants to go commando? Which one of you wants to go commando? Tell me right now. Compare. Energy damage bonus I'm not even doing. I think armor would benefit me. Right? Didn't I get some other armor just now? No? Yeah, commander armor, okay. Now what? Yeah, take this. Oh, doesn't look bad, huh? Looks good, actually. Compass armor. Nice. Nine armor, hit chance. Oh, because I don't have the strength. Oh, wait. Do we? Don't have the strength for this. What was I looking at? Blind. I would have just screwed myself over for the next most important battle. Pay attention. One armor less. 
But uh, you know what? Let me keep the healing up so I can you know heal myself without depending on anybody else. Hopefully, if I can stay alive and not get one shot like I always do. You. Oh man, everything got shifted down. Yeah, let's look at this. Energy damage bonus. Is that... It's like... Is that enough? To... Not go for other... Armor types. Is that enough of a stat bonus? What about this? This gives a lot of evasion. But really suffers when it comes to uh, armor. My armor levels are extremely low, my people. Commando legs. Do I have anything that increases armor as well as... Yeah! How about this? It reduces my hit chance somewhat and that's... Actually, it's a bit bad for me actually. Armor 2, Armor 1. Increases evasion. Some more. Initiative, it increases. Armor and combat speed. Why do I have one separately? What? Let me sit this in. Oh. Do I already have this? Oh, I guess I do. I guess I already have one on. Ugh. E. So your 8 armor is with a module inserted. Need to remember that. With this Chemtech legs, armor 8 and healing bonus. Eeks. What if I modify this? 8 armor, healing bonus. With this on, you'll become... <laughs> hey! Yeah. You'll become 9 armor and evasion and healing bonus. Does that sound good? No thinky. Just do it. Do it. Uh, nah, it's good. The Chemtech legs gives a lot of armor, so it's worth it. Okay, now here's uh, the thing that I want to see. Ixo energy, this thing, is it worth it? Oh, absolutely not. I'm going back to the Chemtech. Uh, it's far better. All my energy and these resistances, it's nothing but status effects. And I have an overall status effect resistance of 15% in the Chemtech helmet. Plus I have a healing bonus to myself. I have more, 4 more armor. And resistance to poison. These guys are breathers. I mean, feels like poison is their thing, so... Woohoo! I am... No longer. I'm really good against poison now. The energy exo suit is starting to lose its value. Towards, I mean, for me at least. Okay, this will be pretty good for some other people. So, let's not forget that we have that. What about this? 7 armor and 25 healing bonus. Okay. Similar to my current uh, armor. So this can get some more attached to it if I mod it. Of course the energy exosuit that I have on me is not modded as well. It still has some potential that is untapped. Do I have any better armor out here? Damn it, I don't. Yes, this is the best we have. 
10 armor for two reduced action points max and action points plus 10 armor jesus this looks so awesome though Oof. imagine 10 more makes you uh, get this gives you then 17 armor uh okay let's look at this My attributes Ah, uh, I need to get four more points to get enough to wear that. Eventually, I guess we can load it up with that particular mod. For now, let's look at something else. One armor and 25 healing bonus? No, not worth it. We have very limited uh, plasma capsules, so yeah, let's hold on to that. Okay, now let's look at the other guys. You, tactical armor legs? Three? Ooh. Why didn't I see any of the better ones? And that too was so long. I'd go for this. It's horrible what she has on her. Let me just make sure that we don't have any penalties. No, we don't. Seven armor, huh? Yeah, I guess this is the best we have for her. That's fine, I guess. This is five armor. This is six armor crit resistance is there. Five armor and hit chance increases. Penetration plus two. Five armor and. Uh, Lot of resistances. Now this is probably useful because this one gives you hit chance. This one increases lot of other stats. Oh, status effect resistance. You know what? Status effect resistance. Go for it. Eww. Both of you look the same. Maybe you know, just keep this on for some time. It looks so derpy, but it's fine, I guess. Ah, time for us to look at your stats. Fire damage bonus. Yeah, I need the resistance to burning and fire damage bonus for this lady. Even though I would really like to go for something with higher armor values to it. What if I... Can I upgrade the armor? Cold resistance, energy resistance, fire resistance, explosive resistance is all minus. But you get two armor and crit resistance. One armor and crit resistance. One armor and status effect resistance. Melee range damage bonus. Armor minus two. Tactical hard. Yeah. Could go for this. One extra armor and crit resistance. Well, before we do that, let me see if there's something else that is worth loading up on her. I don't have the strength, huh? Surprising. Resistance to burning really helps out a lot. Otherwise, I'm constantly on fire. Fire damage bonus is only 2 percentage? Hey, guess what? Change of... Change your pants. Switch them out. This is better. 9, huh? This also gives status effect uh, resistance. The resistance to burning... Uh, the other one was 30, the pant was 30 percentage, but we changed it over to status effect resistance plus 10 percentage. So a net loss of 20 percentage resistance to burning. Here, if we change out, we will get another 10 percentage uh, burning resistance uh, loss. So, total of 20 plus 10, 30 percentage 
resistance to burning is reduced. Also, I want to see one more thing. When we switched out this thing, what is the fire damage bonus? A 2% age. And this one is also... Oh, this one's fire damage bonus is much higher. Wow, the helmet and the suit is good. It's the uh, ground, the leg armor that is weak. Yeah, in all aspects, it's weaker. Wow, 50 plus 20, 70. And with this, it's like we have a 100% resistance to burning. Because that's why we never went aflame any of these times. I never even realized that. Okay, but nevertheless, let's uh, move on. I think I want to modify you. Minus two action points. Would that be a good deal for you? Hey. I have two exosuits, right? One is still not being used. Oh. Why does this have... Oh... Level 16, level 21. Cold energy, fire, fire damage bonus 12 percentage. Okay. So it's literally the same except for the armor alone. You know what? Got an idea. Let's give this a try. And see if it is good enough for us to use. There you go. Now we have 16 armor. Or uh, instead of six, so it makes her a bit tanky. Okay, that should be good enough. And now it comes to you. You with your little sucky equipment. I would like to change over to something that is actually good. Yeah, I want to switch over to this. Combat speed is reduced like hell because you don't have that weird science. And all it needs is three weird science. Like how much weird science do you have? Zero. Can one level up help you? Look at she's farting. Gas from below her. Just one level up could give you enough skill point. No, I think a level up gives you two skill points. So you probably need two level ups to get uh, enough to wear this exoskeleton. Damn, armor and melee damage bonus has everything. I need the exoskeleton legs. And until I get that, what about this? Energy exoskeleton. Okay. Tank legs, yeah, this is much better, right? I, mean, I don't need any of the resistances, so evasion is a good stat to have. This has six, eight armor. Comparison to my tank legs, which is six. Ugh. Ah, this is eight. Still not good enough, so fine, I'll keep this on. Keep these pants on. Let's go look at armor once again. This is uh, this has the armored pads with 11 armor. Imagine the same with composite armor on. Now what? Fine. Let me go the composite armor way. Wow. With 10 more armor be a real boss right just two points i'm losing just two action points how many action points do i usually have in total i think three ah. what's my stats let's look at our action points we have nine action points if i remove two from it 
I'll get seven. So I can run and attack once. No. No, I'm not good enough. For that modification. I don't want to hurry and do anything else. Let's look at the helmets. I don't think there's anything better than what I have on right now. Ooh. Status effect resistance. I mean, my perk makes it so I don't face any issues with regards to status effects. Penetration values, if I could increase, I can use this. My weapons would be better. Against enemies, unfortunately. But can I modify this with something better? Oh yeah, what about that? Uh, wait, do we, well, which is the strongest helmet that we have here? I think this one, right? What if I modify this with uh, this melee damage bonus plus 10 percentage? But I think it will be better on uh, someone like Snappy. Okay, fine, fine, okay. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to look at that anymore. Hit chance 5 percentage damage plus 4. Do I go for one of these heavyweights? Plus 4 damage. You know what? Let me put one of these on. There you go. She's good. She has some more damage now. Not at all significant in any shape or form but okay it's still it's there okay you might need some better armor what you have literally sucks so bad iron armor Ugh. go for this this Five armor, I think you can get you something better. Something way better. Okay. Now you are a bit better. And next, Lucia Vesson. Not sure why you have all this on you. I don't think I need the pyro helmet for her. Doesn't really make much sense. Oh god. Oh god damn. Hey, give me a second. It adjusts my mic. I just banged it. Yeah, yeah, I shifted it. Okay. Now. Let's continue with the... Okay, so 10 armor. She has 10 armor over here. What do you have on your legs? Armor 4, but good evasion. Yeah, probably time for you to sh move on to better legwear, lady. What you call me? I call you a lady. Oh. Okay. Four. Now what here? Put this on. Seven. Trooper armor. Do I want to go for a 10? You know what? Here. Look at this. 3 lesser, but it's fine. This is 5 armor. Can I go for something better? Ugh. Hit chance is increased. Ah! Oh, 8 armor. Make me uh, overall a little better. Do you want that? Or do you want to increase your hit chance? So you get fire better. Hit chance so I can fire better. Uh, more armor would not go amiss. Yeah, let me put one of these on you. 
There you go. Be happy now. There you go. Will she look better with this on? Yeah. I think it looks better. There you go. We are ready. I'm not sure what kind of reception is waiting for us up there. But it's time for us to make a take. Make a take a make a move. Let's talk to the computer. This console appears to operate the ski lift. A simple click of a button will activate the lift. You can ride to the top of the mountain side. Right. Travel to summit. Activate lift. Enjoy a trip up the mountain. We have to shift all those dead bodies aside. Use some chemical cleaners for removing all the blood stain and the goo that is that was blood once before. What is Asper Little? What is that? Oh God! Help me! I'm begging you! Speak with Woodson and Little Hell. Okay, Hardy Knox, how do I help you? This man chained to the spit twists and rides. Trails of agonized, half-frozen tears trail down his cheeks, dripping into the hungry flames. His back is warm to the touch and you fear a single ember might turn him to a roaring blaze. He sees you and is begging before you have a chance to speak. You... You're not with that psycho Vic. Please, I don't want to burn. Oh God, that's Hardy Knox. Free him. Fame increased. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. My family and I owe you everything, strangers. God sent you to me as surely as he sent the patriarch. A shudder takes him and he clasps his arms, wincing. <sighs> The name's Hardy Knox, of the Hundred Families. I'd shake your hands, but uh, everything hurts right now. Everything. All right, run away. Give him a minute to catch his breath. He holds himself tighter, shuddering again. His mouth firms and he looks up at you. Vic Buchanan. That freak. That monster. Killing folk. Cutting them open, laughing the whole time. The Patriarch knew what his son was. That's why he banished Vic into the mountains. Okay. His anger faded, fades a bit, and his cheeks flush despite the cold. Nobody thought Vic would survive, let alone come back with an army. He slaughtered damn near everyone he found here. Tortured the rest. Tears well in his eyes. Lucia here seems to know you. Let's start well, with that. Lucia Wesson, what are you doing out here? Long story, Mr. Knox. Glad we got here in time. Well, you're a credit to your daddy, helping folk like this. He must be proud as hell. And dead as hell. She nods, her face purposefully blank. Uh, we are heading inside the lodge. Any advice? Sure. Harden your hearts. You'll see things in there. Things he's done to his hostages, the other people from families that offended him. It'll burn marks on your soul. He rubs his eyes with both hands. And he's not alone. Those breathers of his. Well, I don't know much about them, but... They treated me like livestock. Oh no, don't say. Any other forces he got in there? A bunch of his sadistic friends. Same crew that followed him around Colorado Springs and got banished with him, as I recall. Oh god, special forces, huh? Ah. Oh. Good, are you ready to head home yet? Soon. I'll have to find a working vehicle. Should be some at the base camp. Don't you dare touch my vehicle. I'll put you back up on the spit. 
Cook up a nice barbecue. I've eaten human flesh before. Hardy nuts. Yeah. You should be afraid. Very afraid. Hell Squad is known to do chaos. So you would be minor collateral damage, alright? Let me stick my mouse up your nose. Install some fear into you. Good luck to you. You too, strangers. And if you can see your way clear to saving any other hostages in there, well... Well, we have a scary Woodson inside, so we have to try. Well, I'm sure their people back home would be grateful. Especially the ones... Oh, you're not talking about family. my friends. Okay. Not that you need rewards to do the right thing, but... There it is. Okay. God protect and preserve you, strangers. All right, we have a rabbit over here. It looks like the game is telling us something, giving us a sign. Maybe this rabbit has special powers. Maybe its soul is also hardened after viewing all these cult folks. But uh, you know what? So yeah, I, I'm thinking, you know, let's keep this little uh, battle for the next episode. So we start with the blast. Uh, I know this is a bit of a shorter episode and I apologize for that but I hope all the same that you like this video. Press the like button, let me know in the comment section and I will catch you guys next time where I will try to make the episode a bit longer so that you guys get to both enjoy a grand start as well as you know maybe two or three more battles uh, along with it. So yeah having said that I, I am Goberry. I will catch you guys next time. Till then, bye-bye.